marhaban, shalom mispaha. I've been out for a little bit now. Um, I wasn't feeling the best, and I'll explain that in a video coming soon as per request. But I just want to get into this Amazon haul. I was kind of buying things in the midst of my downtime. And you know, just throughout the month that I thought I would share these are products that I use almost every day for the most part and have really helped me in my life so far. Um, and I think they're just convenient to have. And some are for special occasions, which have yet to be announced on this channel. So stay tuned. Okay, number one, um, anything I said was not clickbait. You might want to consider ditching your deodorant and getting some of this. Yes, milk of magnesia. Most people know it as a laxative or you know whatever else they use this for. I really don't know. But I was scrolling through YouTube and Instagram and I came across a video of someone saying they use this as a natural deodorant replacement. Didn't want to use those aluminum uh, filled deodorants. They wanted to use a natural deodorant like me they started off kind of similar and then they switched to natural deodorant brands i'm not even going to list them but you know where they are in the drugstore in walmart um they're all over the place and for me personally let me just share this uh they did not work to keep any sweat away um like they they might have said that they were a two-in-one whatever a deodorant and antiperspirant and they were not at all for me i remember like the extreme hot summer days and extreme hot to us is like 88 degrees around there and um yeah it was one of those days and i could feel like the sweat the nap like my arms weren't like dripping with sweat per se but like they were um it felt first of all it was burning and stinging i'm talking about a natural deodorant that I put in the mask was burning and stinging me as I began to sweat um, and and it didn't keep out a smell either I think um, you know it, it didn't work for me so yeah uh, save your money uh, those are probably like I remember spending like anywhere between six and eleven dollars for natural deodorant and, that, and that's even before tax so um, really it came to like $12, um, so yeah, baby let me try this. I know people warn about the, uh, about the magnesium hydroxide ingredient, it's not in all of the bottles, this was my first time buying so this is what I got and um, actually I experienced a little bit of discoloration under my armpits, I assume from growing up in a household where um, I had to wear men's deodorant because my father did not buy me um, ladies deodorant and if they did it was rare um, but hey, that's that's just what it was um, so growing up I had like darker underarms and um, I was very sensitive under there still I'm kind of sensitive so this to my surprise actually worked I mix like I don't know I want to say like a tablespoon of this drop in whatever essential oil scent that I want to smell like for that day so I have tried like orange I was out of my um, lemon which to me a lemon is one of my favorite fragrances uh, it was a lemon essential oil I ran out uh, didn't buy a new one bought some other ones instead and it's from a new company I've never tried for essential oils. These bottles are actually pretty large. Getting into the next product here. Um, I recently mixed uh, from the P and J brand from Amazon, Instagram, all these other um, platforms they have. They're Rain and fresh, Clean and Fresh um, essential oils. Now these two on their own smell pretty good, but together, it's the perfect combination for me. I really like it. It's like a fresh smelling comfort scent for me. Um, I bought this rain scent thinking it would smell more like petrichor, which is the smell of the earth or the, that earthy smell right after it rains that we commonly smell. Um, to me, this doesn't smell like that. It doesn't smell like petrichor, but it smells like clean rain water. Like maybe it came from the Babylon Brook or something. Um, not literally, but I'm saying like, if you think the Babylon Brook, like how um, prestigious a stream of water, if you will, um, this is probably what it would smell like. And this one, to me it smells like soap. 
you know, it's it smells like uh, whatever it's makeup, whatever it's ingredients, they came to make soap. Like soapanification occurred in this. Okay. But just that mix alone does not stop you, or at least me, from perspiring. If it does get very hot out, or you know, wherever you are, um, and if you want to find out what I do to have an antiperspirant and a deodorant, quote unquote, with this mixture, and um, refraining from using store-bought name brand deodorants or antiperspirants then you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for a new video on why you might want to ditch deodorants altogether and follow a natural guide, kind of like what I'm doing right now. So stay tuned for that. If you guys have been keeping up with my videos, you probably know that I recently bought my first ever luxury perfume, but here I am again with another perfume. It's actually not considered to be luxury or anything, but I just was checking for ingredients this time and got a scent that I knew I might like. But this is hair perfume. You know, in the summertime especially, I don't know if it's everyone or just women of color or, you know, I really don't know. But I know for me personally, in the past, it, it, when it's gotten hot and humid outside and my hair would sweat and, and get humid and all that and, and um, voluminous. <laughs> Uh, there would be quite a, a smell either of like burning hair if my hair was straightened previously or like just a sweaty hair smell you know from anything so um, I haven't really been experiencing that so much so far but I do put in like leave-in conditioners on the daily I um, will put in like an oil a light or oil and um, yeah then I'll spray this in. and it smells really good to me it's a, a nice coconut scent, but next time I think I might go for something maybe a bit more fruity, rosy, flowery, I don't know, for my hair. But this was like a safe fragrance for me. So, you know what? If you guys want to try it, I'll put the link to all these products in the description. And none of these products are currently sponsored by me, but if you guys, if any of you watching this are owners of these companies, of you know the products that I've shown, I would love to work with any of you, so pending you watch this, <laughs> um, we could work something out. So up next, we have this Aztec Secret Indian Clay Mat. I believe this was the smallest size you could buy from the site. I didn't need to get a huge, you know, container of it and I don't know, maybe not like it. But for me, I felt I use Desim, the Ordinary's products, but they don't have something like this. I use their um, their peeling mask that you just wipe off after 10 minutes from their product line. But for me, that is more of like a, you want to purge things out of your skin type of mask. I want something that, um, I wanted something that would give my skin like a gloss afterward, a glossy, shiny look after. Sometimes that mask will do it, but not so often um, as of recently. Maybe like when I first started using it two, almost three years ago, but now um, just learning to see a slight change. I don't know if they've changed the product at all, but um, yeah, I felt I needed another face mask that had different qualities but I didn't stop using the other one. So just, I don't use them at the same time. I don't recommend that product fixing or anything like that, but I will use this one um, maybe two, three times a week, maybe. Um, so yeah, but I really do like this. So I definitely would recommend it for anyone who just wants to try a face mask, anyone just starting out, this one, um, you know, it didn't break me out or anything. I, have been known to have sensitive skin so next we have this is kind of random but carry lotion this is the lotion I currently use several years ago I used whatever I could get my hands on growing up I didn't even like the feeling of lotion on my skin or like shea butter oh I hated that greasy feeling especially if it was like that cheap shea butter that came from like a dollar store or something like oh the cheap yellow oh oh my I just, yeah, not um, something I would ever purchase now um, at all. But um, when I started elevating from there, buying my own 
lotion, getting into lotions again, which didn't really happen for me until like middle school. I want to say throughout elementary school, I was like not into lotion at all. And I didn't like feeling like my clothes were sticking to my skin because of the lotion or whatever, or shea butter or greasy stuff at that time. Um, but from there, I graduated to like, oh, I was like, okay, let's try Vaseline lotion. I still don't like the feeling of Vaseline, so I was like, let's see what their lotion is like. Maybe it's less greasy, less sticky. Um, and it was, but I don't think that stuff kept my skin moisturized, especially because my skin had gone so long without consistently being lotioned at that point. So it was a lot of um, repairing that needed to take place. From there, I probably went to like Jergens, tried baby lotion, tried Cetaphil lotion, and none of it really kept my skin moisturized. Then I looked on the ingredients on the back of all of those lotions, and guess what they all had? Alcohol. They all had alcohol. And for me personally, you know, some people can argue that alcohol can have moisturizing properties through, you know, I don't know the exact science behind that, but they say like when it's in certain products, it's uh, um, some used to retain moisture. Um, what I know it to be is to dry you out, and that's, you know, my belief on it, regardless of whatever people claim. Um, you know, scientists can refute it, whatever, prove, you know, but for me personally, I believe alcohol does dry out my skin. That's what I'll say. And this product, it may have seed oils in it. So if you're against seed oils, you don't want them in your body. I understand that. I understand the precautions in, in that. I really do. I'm looking into all this stuff now. And it has mineral oil too. Um, but it keeps me moisturized for now. If I ever find something better than this and it, it just doesn't happen to have mineral oil, seed oils, or anything like that in it, hey, sign me up. Fine. And it keeps my skin moisturized and glistening and shining. Let me know. But for right now, this is my go-to lotion. Won't buy anything else. And it's only like three to six dollars depending on whether you buy it from Walmart or Amazon, you go into the store or you buy it online. So, hey. Next thing I got was this Venus razor um, for your sensitive areas. It works pretty well, I should say. Um, I'm, I should do, I'm thinking about doing a whole video on shaving because there's so much like growing up without a mother, she didn't teach me how to shave. I had to figure it out myself. And I had like seven, about seven years of experience now shaving. I feel like there's so much I've learned. There's products that I, I used before that I will never use again. And I could share that information. Um, there's mechanisms, methods to shaving that I would not do ever again. Some things I never realized I was doing wrong. Some until like last month, like, like this is why this is happening like you know things like that i w really would like to share so drop a comment below if you would enjoy a video like that amazon had this like 31 dollar dr bronner's products been using dr bronner three years now ever since i it was recommended to me by a youtuber so happened to come across and you know what that soap is perfect for like every single area of your body excuse the dog in the background um, if you can hear him, don't mind him at all. I started off using the Dr. Brothers Hemp from Walmart, the Hemp Liquid Casco Soap. And I found out like, I was looking for a soap for every single area of your body. Like you could clean every area of your body with that soap and it wouldn't irritate you, like that kind of soap. I ventured out to try like different scents or fragrances um, from that product line. The hemp doesn't really smell like anything, I don't think. Um, if anything, it has a faint, clean smell. Um, then I tried his peppermint soap, which obviously smells like peppermint. Um, but that one I found I did not enjoy um, washing every part of my body with, um, to say the least. And I am now using the one that's considered to be a baby soap by him for sensitive skin. It's unscented. This package was the sugar soap, which I am trying for the first time. Castel soap. Um, I'd used this soap before. I got a bar of the Castel soap and this hand balm. Now, this balm I would say is a little bit more on the greasier side, which I really don't like. 
So if I'm putting this on, it's just like a little bit at a time on my hand and it's just to layer something else on top of it so that I have extra moisture. Again, I'm not into anything that makes me feel greasy. That is just, it's just a, a bad feeling for me overall. So yeah, these are some really great products that I would recommend. Now, last but not least, I got a dress for my special event coming up next month. And it was a little, you know, it really wasn't bad. Some dresses that are like ridiculously priced, but specifically for events like this, and I'd say this is reasonable, this is affordable. I mean, it's it's gonna cost you something. Uh, depending on your finances, it may be a lot for you, maybe a little for you. I'm looking forward to doing a review of this dress, this outfit for this special occasion that I have yet to announce. But for now, you guys are gonna have to leave it to your own imagination. But I will tell you this, the store is called Miss Ord. They had the cutest packaging. Um, I really like that it came uh, very quickly. They did not play around with me. Um, it looks just as beautiful on me and as it did in the photos from other people's posts and from the models photos. It fit me very well. I ended up sizing one size down than I normally would have and it fit perfectly. So I guess they do run a little big but It's a show-stopping dress, a show-stopping gown. So I cannot wait to put it on and show that special event. So stay tuned. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you did, as it helps with the YouTube algorithm so my videos get more noticed. Let me know if you like more of this content, if you have any video suggestions. And trust me, your feedback helps this channel. So. Yeah, stay tuned. Shalom.